Hey guys, what's up? This is Steven, and today I'm going to be bringing you another After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to make 2D text become 3D, so that way you can spin it and make other things move around with it. Alright, so we're going to try and be recreating the CC Multimedia intro. First of all, I want to point out that you should notice how the C's spin, and that's what we're going to be doing today, and also we're going to be doing the multimedia foldout right here. Alright, so as you've seen, you notice how the C spin on their own axis plus the multimedia folds out. So let's get started. You're going to want to open up After Effects, hit Composition, New Composition. I always prefer 1280 by 720 at around 30 frames. Now, you don't have to follow this exactly, but it's, you know, HD. And let's just go for 20 seconds. All right. So let's start off by hitting a new layer up in the background. So we're going to do layer, new, solid, and any color, you know, could be could work, but we're just going to do white for now. All right. So now let's put in the first C. So we grabbed our text tool and we're going to be using the font Birth of a Hero, or I'm going to be using that font today. So I'm going to do that, type it in. And that's cool. All right. So now, let's go to this rotate tool. And I'm going to show you at first. You see how it's not really doing anything? That's because it's still on 2D. To make this 3D, we're going to come over here. And where this cube is, you can do 3D manipulation. So we're just going to check that so the cube shows up. So now, we can spin it. If you don't have this, you can just press F4. And F4, you know to switch between these two modes so if you're on this just hit F4 and it'll bring you to this just so you can check the cube alright but we're still not quite there yet as you can still see it doesn't spin really on its own axis it's sort of like floating around at a distance and it's not spinning the way we want it to so this has to do something with an anchor point so we're gonna come over here and move the anchor point. We're going to go down to C, transform, and anchor point right here. We're going to take the first one and drag it so that it's in the center right there and now it's on its own axis and it can spin like that. See how different that is? Alright, so now let's just move into the center if you wanted to. Go like that, like that and we're gonna set it so at six seconds it looks just like this how it's gonna be finished so we're gonna move six seconds in and we're gonna hit the Y orientation or Y rotation sorry and we're gonna hit that keyframe now that's what it's gonna look like at six seconds so we're gonna drag it back to the first and the start and if we want it to spin twice we're gonna put it up to 360 degrees so 360 if you want one spin, it would be 180 degrees. If you wanted more, you just add 180. So, as you can see, it'll start spinning like that. When it reaches 6 seconds, it'll stop. Just like that. Now, how to fade it out, or fade it in. So, it looks like it just spins and appears. Like it's just going to be blank, and then it's just going to show up like that. What you want to do is click this. Why don't we close that? And as your thing is selected on the C layer, just hit T and that'll bring up the opacity so if we want it to fade in from like mm, let's say right here we're gonna hit opacity the keyframe and drag that down to 0% we're gonna move forward a little bit and then we're gonna drag that up to 100% it's created two keyframes and it appears as if it just came out of nowhere so that's that now this effect can be applied in many other cases it doesn't have to be single letters it can be full you know sentences if you wanted to really but you can apply that for the future now I'm gonna show you how to do the multimedia cascade effect and this one's really easy so let's just get rid of this C layer right here and we're gonna make a new text layer and we're just gonna write multimedia All right. Now this one is much easier than that one because it's a preset effect. So you're going to go over here to effects and presets 
and type in cascade and the one that you want to select is the rotate Y and you're just gonna take that and drag it on now wherever you hit it from it'll start flipping out like that pretty cool now there's also a rotate X and a rotate Z but it's you know the same thing pretty much except from different angles so that's the basic concept guys I hope you enjoyed this video subscribe if you liked it check out you know more of our tutorials and we're still gonna come out with more and more every day for you guys so thanks for watching please subscribe stay tuned for more